Hey there everyone, this is Shelly and welcome back to the Pokemon X post game. Uh, in this episode we're going to start off the stuff that uh, I thought started off in the New York City but turns out I have to do some things first in order to activate it and well it also gives me it gives me an excuse to show off the battle maze on or whatever it's called and uh, basically how that works normally but yeah when you go into this quite a sad rip on um, when you go into here you see this bet here now these two these two ladies here will offer you uh, I think this one holds all the hell items all the decent hell items for battle points oh no yeah there are some of them I think the other one is TMs. I'm not certain though. Yeah, that's TMs. So th this is the main room where all the magic happens, and I think you talk. Did you talk to this one? Oh, you keep the records. You talk to the one near the PC. Um, but basically, how this work? How the battle beta works? Is you can either you can check you do, uh, you do a challenge and you can either challenge in uh, singles, doubles, triples, rotations, and multi battles. Um, you, can, you can see uh, the requirements here. I believe there is uh, a hidden requirement. Uh, basically. You cannot use legendaries in this in these fights. So uh, apparently, I have to do at least one fight here. But uh, for the record, your main goal initially is to get a win streak of twenty. Oh, well, I think it's nineteen or twenty. Once you do that, like the frontier brain or whatever they're called uh, in this game, they will show up and challenge you. To a fight, and if you win that, then uh, you essentially get the harder version of uh, this fight. So, say I, I got 20 wins in the single battle, I beat the Frontier Brain. I got, I get the harder version of the single battles, and those can actually include some uh, really tough uh, Pokemon, some really tough fights. Um, each time you win, you get battle points, and you use those for uh, where you've seen them before, the held items and TMs. But yeah, may as well just, uh, give it a try. A uh, single battle, I believe you can only pick, uh, can only pick three pokes. So let's pick Yiba, pick Kunrichi, and let's pick Uzma. Now the the battle frontier. Um, it kind of prevents you from uh, save scrimmage. So say like you do, you're doing horrible in a fight, and you're about to lose your last poke. So you think, yo, maybe I should reset. Um, if you do reset, it actually nullifies your challenge, and you, you, it's basically just if you lost anyway. So uh, you're better off if you're losing badly, then you may as well just take the loss. Uh, all, all these Pokemon here, I believe there is a, there is a set pool of Pokemon uh, that come out from this. Uh, I kind of really don't want to face an electric because I, I know this thing probably has static, so let's see what it does first. I fear it may just want to use Thunderwave first time. Yeah, I thought as much. You know, because electric Pokemon are little shits. Alright, you wanna play little shits, then I will play little shits. That's not gonna do anything because it's not stab. Just cut this thing, will you? Yeah, and I believe all the fights are set to. Um, the style where you can't get the opportunity to switch Pokemon. Sacred Charge should uh, absolutely destroy this thing. I 
even if you had the resistive barrier there, um, yeah, in case you also notice the um, the opponent's Pokemon will have random barriers as well. Usually they'll have the ones that resist the super effective attack. So yeah, let's switch uh, you out gear but I'm going to bring in here. I'm pretty sure this thing can die to an ice punch. And also I believe the whole friendship thing from uh, Pokemon and me also doesn't work. In these things. So apparently from what I've read uh, for starting these uh, side quests is that you only need to do one fight so I'm going to suspend it here. I may, may do this either on my own time or maybe I'll stream this but uh, Yeah, I don't want to. I can interrupt challenge now. So basically, so like, I was on the bus doing this and then I had to get off the bus. Um, I could just interrupt the thing there. I just wanted to, if I got enough battle points to get something that I wanted, I could just interrupt my thing and I can just go up there and come. And when I come back, it'll be, uh, it'll ask you want to resume your uh, previous challenge. But, um, by doing this, I believe our rival should be uh, over here. And if he's there, he is. So let, let me. I just. I should probably just adjust my team suitably. But uh, I say that, and yet Gabe is probably my best lead. So hello there, Mr. Rival. How are you today? When I can actually get to target one. Now, his gimmick is, well, his new gimmick, as you'll probably see like right now, he has a Mega Ring, which means one of his Pokemon can now Mega Evolve. And he's not his Meowth stack, I'll tell you that from it, to, for nothing. But, uh, oh, it's faster now. That might hurt. I did actually sting all that. Nonetheless, Shadow Claw should uh, lay waste them to me and stick here. Ah, uh, that's one now. And this is Vaporeon, which I will bring Sparkling for. And I made Mega just to make sure Thunderbolt has enough power to kill it, because I know. Vaporeon has a lot of HP bulk. I don't want to. I've, got, I've pretty much got the same fight as I had my wide playthrough and my own time, but I used the uh, Venusaur on that time. And Mega Ring Venusaur is about the set, probably with the same result, so. Uh, it's been a while since uh, Sparkle got to show off his stuff and unleash his full potential. And it's still probably going to be uh, slower than the Vaporeon. No, you're actually faster than the Vaporeon, that's interesting. Either way, the Vaporeon is there, which is nice. Next is Clefable. I want to bounce out because... Fairy-type moves are going to kill uh, poor Sparkle there, uh, so... You know, being part of Dragon now. Uh, it's uh, Mega Evolved. But I have the perfect counter for fairy types and it's called an Iron Head to the Face. Still don't understand how um, Gibbon can use Iron Head, but not that I'm complaining. Chestnut, his starter. Let's bring Uzume in here. We've not seen Uzume for a long time either. Uh, could use Kunichi, but part of fighting type means um, it could probably hurt me. I know this thing has a powerful fighting type move in Hammer. I think it has Hammer Arm. So yeah, that thing's going to kill me. 
I think it also has spike shield. I wonder if I crippled. Uh, I was gonna say you crippled Uzume, but I, Uzume gives no craps whatsoever. Now I kind of die, Mr. Chestnut. Hey, what Spike Shield does is it checks out its unique move. Like how Grenadine checks uh, uh, Water Shuriken. It's basically a very to protect. Well, if uh, you hit with a physical move that makes contact, uh, it actually just damages the opponent as well. Altaria, Altaria, I can deal with with Uzume as well. Because I'm faster and I have Dragon Pulse, and uh, if anything, this should KO straight away if not to it. Yeah, I just completely oblivion, sends it to oblivion. Now this thing's the one thing that I've kind of got problems with because this Absol can Mega Evolve. This is his Pokemon that uses for Mega Evolution. So Gearbird, I think Gearbird is probably the best choice simply because it has Sacred Sword. But I'm going to uh, stay in defense position here and see what this thing wants to do. Alright, what's well, tonight slash me? So yeah, you uh you can you can do a loose some attack. Because that's what King Shield does. And I probably shouldn't use it more ta more times than consecutive in a row that I just got happily I got lucky now. My next question is, are you faster than this thing? No you're not, you're gonna get hurt. Don't worry about it, I think we've got this. Providing uh, Sacred Star actually okay it. I'll be honest, if I didn't get those attack drops, Gibber probably would have died, so uh, that's a thing. So yeah, my uh, strategy for uh, spamming King Shield is just a thing. It's just like the greatest thing ever. I think the only Pokemon we didn't actually use was Kane and uh, Eska. But uh, yeah, he gives me the episode light, so if I had an episode of my own at this point, I could make it a little bit if I want. But uh, I'm not using Gabsol. Yeah, that's fine. Also, yeah, Professor Sigma wants me to wants to do a thing. But yeah, Young Bono was looking for things before in that one of the other videos, I was wondering what was going on. Apparently I had to do the fight in the Battle Mesa first before uh, anything else happens. But uh, yeah, uh, from now on, uh, once every day, your rival will challenge you to a fight here if you want to actually fight him for like experience and money and stuff. So it's, it's time to go to Killwood City, which means I need my flare. And because it's Pokemon to the Moon, I've kind of got used to pressing A to open the door. I, I don't know I don't know why they changed the thing in uh, Sun and Moon so they had to actually open doors now to to walk into places. But apparently it's a thing. Anyway, uh, Nightwing's going to be in our pie for a little while because I'm going to be flying to a couple of different places. Well, for, for a start I need to go to the uh, Anistar City Sun now for what, uh, for the little thing that uh, Professor Sigma wants me to do with them. So at and I just goes to the uh just goes to the sun now. 
Watch the nap. The cut seems to trigger. Yeah, there's Sycamore. What do you want, Sycamore? Not really, I just get an island to flag me everywhere now. But yeah, he's actually uh apparently he's found a way to upgrade the Mega Ring. Now this also unlocks the remaining Mega Stones that you can actually grab. But uh, the gimmick is they're only around for a certain time. Uh, area and uh, I think it's like between 7 and 8 uh, p.m. or something so like that. And um, yeah, there's some, some of the most stronger pub in the game. There is a guide somewhere uh, that all right, it starts for 1 hour and 8 p.m. so. It's obviously it's literally nine o'clock now, so uh, it's kind of a bit useless to even go looking for them. But I'm not actually going to loot for them. It's good. It will take a while, and I may not want to actually play in the game at like eight eight p.m. in the uh, in the evening, just to be looking for those. And like I said, there's a guide uh, somewhere on YouTube. I'll. If I find it myself, I will probably post the link in the uh, video description. Uh, then again, I may end up forgetting. But yeah, the Mega Ring's been upgraded now. I don't. Uh, it doesn't do a thing. So yeah, we can get those Mega Stones now. But as I said, um, you've only got an hour from 8 pm. To actually do this, uh, and because I've just been waffling on about it, uh, we're not really going to be doing anything. Right, so now I am going to go, and this is where the side quest should start if uh, I've done everything right. So if I fly to Lumio City, I should get a whole clip. And this should start the uh, side quest off. I could need to like walk around a little bit, but uh, I'll be honest. I need to kill my pokes first. Gibbon did take a bit of a beam. Not enough of a beam for it to break, and I have to. Uh, Convert all the world's shards into it, so it becomes some sort of holy sword that destroys the world and everything inside. And makes the game industry great again. Ah, there we go. Really now. To be fair, you really shouldn't just trust rogue hollow hollow clips, but uh yeah this starts off the side quest. There's uh six chat I think it's six chapters in all. But uh, we have to go to the look at burrow and I can't remember where it is. Fortunately this is kind of where Nightwing's gonna take a lot of the spotlight for just having me fly to places because it's actually next to the it's actually the other way next to the Pokemon Center which is actually right here and from here you uh, this should be uh, the sushi restaurant Oh, that's the look of beer. So yeah, that, this would be the sushi restaurant, yeah. And this is the uh, Lucas Bureau. And uh, when well, you know it, it's Lucky. Um, if you play the Generation Four games, uh, you'll you'll find this guy is familiar. And I think I think since that Generation Four, he seems to like for some reason crop up out of nowhere in each of the other generations. Uh, but 
then again, I've not really played Generation 5 in like a long time, so I'm actually not sure if he actually appears there. But he appears here, he appears in, he actually appears in the post-game side quest in Sun and Moon as well, so... And uh, he also appears in the updated remakes of uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, I am indeed the champion, and the champ is here. Can you not see my title belt upon my uh, waist? Or uh, wherever the hell it, I put the title belt on. They, they, they just put it on the shoulder now. They, 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 you, never see, you, never see, you never see them in the WWE with the, the belt on the waist anymore. They just, they just put it on, just throw it on the shoulder. Yeah, I obliterated Team Flair as well, Cut Legendaries. And, uh. Yes, we know who you are. You're Luca. You may or may not also be David Tennant or the Tenth Doctor. But yeah, he wants me to investigate a thing and, uh. Oh yeah, you got a point in there. Maybe like the right anything agency. Is that assistant? No. Played that game before. Yeah, I guess we could make Lumio City great again. But, uh, yeah, he kind of wants me to prove my worth. But, yeah. The first thing we want to do is he's hidden five loop tickets in the city. Uh, find them and bring them back to him. Uh, they all sparkle, so it's pretty hard to uh, uh, miss them. But uh, let's have a look. So, oh yeah, it's giving me the locations out here. Pokemon Center next to Magenta Plaza, Centrica Plaza and Town in the City, Fred Avenue the Shops of Medicines, North Boulevard First Floor a place where people rest, North Boulevard First Floor a place filled with art. <coughs> so you can either read the message in the Holocaster again or you go talk to Luke, but or you can just look at the internet and just uh, Look from there, actually, I don't want to go that way. I go this way. Uh, specifically, I want to start with the Pokemon Center one. And I can't, I'm just flying around here. So which way do I go here? I think I need. If I go around, I will eventually get to where I want to be, which is right here. This Pokemon Center here, there is, I think there's a sparkly thing here. I'm just going to have to look at the, uh, ah, there it is. You can't see it, but it's like the. So that's, uh, that's a thing. The second one I may as well get whilst I'm around here anyway. And that's actually near the uh, tower. And I need to look for a sparkly thing here. If anyone sees a sparkly thing, be sure to give me a shout here because. Uh, my say this is what it used to be. Let's 
so it's out there, then I know that's the sign. Now apparently for these things saying that they apparently should be sparkling, it's like they don't really sparkle all that well. No, I don't really want to speak to you. Yeah, I'm lost. I'll uh, I'll find it eventually. Uh, probably going to be involving me cutting some footage then. Oh wait, never mind. I found it. It's actually inside the tower. My notes actually didn't. Uh, figure that one out. Right, so our next one is Vernal Avenue, such like medicines. Uh, this is the herb shop, I believe. I'm not going to the right one. No, that's not the right one. Are you Vernal Avenue? Yes, you are. The herb shop is not that because that's the uh, that's the Frafro um, grooming thing, Bob. It's actually. This shop here next to the place which sells um, evolutionary stones. And well, the sparkle's actually right there. So that's all of those. Uh, while I am here, I uh, should actually point out. Um, if you go to the stone thingy, I think you might need more style for this. But if you talk to this guy here, um, he'll tell you the other mega evolutions for the, the other three cantos for the other canto status that you didn't pick. Um, they're actually quite expensive, but I can afford them, so I may as well as uh, buy them. And I'm not really going to do much else with my money, so uh, does he have one of them? I think that's it now. And well, the only thing that you can get here is evolutionary stones, so uh, there's that. The last two items that I'm going to get, and then I'm probably going to finish the episode off if I can actually remember where they are. Is going back to the Northern Boulevard of uh, in Northern Boulevard because that, that's where the last two are. Uh, the first one's in the hotel and the other one's in the gallery. Uh, I've just got to find out where. Well, I may as well just do this one then. No, it's fine. But it's on the... Well, I, I don't get... Sometimes this game says the first floor is the ground floor that you're currently on when you started. But it may also mean the uh, first floor is in the first set of stairs going up. I've already been around uh, and done all these guys. I think in the main playthrough. Um, I think I also mentioned the uh, while I'm here uh, in the post game. 
Uh, you get this one. This one was uh, originally um, not ready yet when you first come here. But in the post game, this, uh, this is actually here now. So that's that showing off just in case you uh, missed that. Ah, there's our sparkly thing. So yeah, this is the fourth ticket. And well, we're just going to go for the last one now. Which is in the hotel. Which I think is further on down this road here, yeah, though I could be wrong. What's, what's the signs? Okay, we're not. Yeah, this is the hotel. So. Around here, there are more sparkles. If anybody can see them, let me know. There they are. That's all five of the Lucky Tickets, which means you uh, go back to Lucky Burrow and complete the first part of the side quest. Uh, the nice thing that we finished off in the North, the North Bullet Bad ones anyway, since uh, the easiest way to get to the Lucky Bureau is uh, on the, uh, through North Bullet Bad, go to the Pokemon Center. Go to the other way nearby, and you pretty much start. Right, look, I found all the shiny trinkets that you dropped on the floor. Well, not really. I just, uh, I just looked at my notes. I was like, "Hooray! I'm officially a detective." Shall sure, let's fight crime. Oh, I'm alright with fighting crime. But uh, yeah, that's the that's the first part of this uh, over and over. And I think I'm going to probably leave it there. Um, the next chapter starts. Uh, while I was rubbing around Lumios again, just like uh, when the first one started. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that in the next video. Probably get more parts of side quests and since I had to do other things as well. So, yeah, this has been Shadio. Uh, this has been Pokemon X Post Game, uh, the uh, Blucker Edition. And I will see you next time for more uh, investigating things with Lucky. Take care and I'll see you then. Ciao.